The Breath Edge Energy Core. Every modern engine has an energy core, which arrived to replace common fuel. The fusion of rich ores, complex chemical reactions, and enormous amounts of produced energy made it possible to easily colonize space in a matter of decades. Breath Edge cores are inferior to the government ones. However, they have a simple connection pattern that can be used to create your own space shuttle. Hello everyone, welcome back to Breath Edge. Yes, so, as you might tell by the fact that I didn't quite match closing the menu there, we have a bit of a problem today. You see, for whatever reason, my recording failed to catch my mic. So I am doing post-commentary today. Yes, I'm watching this in my editor right now, and I'm speaking into my mic, and I'm desperately going to try to keep up with what's happening on the screen. So, right now I'm making the decision that... I am going to go into the flashy, sparky, zappy area that we discovered not so long ago right near our very own home. And it will be a lovely little trip out that we will simply go to. Yes. Along the way I spotted this interesting looking cylinder that looked like it had more to it than most of the other ones. Still pondering those energy cores. Yes, a dead this. independent software developer. Do you know what independent development is? It's something stupid, like when two young fools take their dad's computer and try to make a game about space chickens. Wait a minute. Yes, and I certainly enjoy the maximum efficiency this guy was enjoying for himself. Mm. The growing power of the masculist movement struggling for men's rights has created many controversial products, including remakes of famous games and movies, in which female protagonists were replaced with body-positive men. Uh, I can't quite read the text, it's smaller than the editor. Larian Kroftovic became one of such characters. There it is. Yes, thank you, past self. God mode, unlimited ammo, get a helicopter, and invincibility. All the cheats you are going to need. Doesn't quite list where you put them in, though. I guess just at the menu. Hmm, yes. I don't think I was going to keep that. No, no, no. Click Edge 2. The most intellectual game of the century. Ah, uh, yes, well, with a setup like that, who can doubt that this man was an apex intellectual? His loss is a tragedy for all. And he's in the energy generation section of the chip of the ship. He's set up right next to the generator, so he certainly has enough juice to run his glorious rig. Yes, I'm still not sure what I'm supposed to do with those energy cores in order to get them going, but uh, that is a mystery that I will just doubt. And yes, at this point I think I was noticing that my air was getting low, and I didn't know if there would be air inside the station or not. So, I made the cowardly decision to turn back around and get some more. And here we are once again. Yes, I don't think you need to see me going back and forth, just getting more air and some more cans. ...that were used about 50 years ago for communication between planets. Besides, some components were produced at breath agency factories for sure. Yes, definitely those energy cores are interesting. Hmm. And this place looks almost like a waiting room or a lobby. The boxes and all that piling up are certainly interesting. And an ottoman. But I don't know if it's going to be a Janissary or if it's going to be one of the Rajas. That's always a question. You don't know if you're going to if you're going to get comfortable putting your feet up on it, or if you're going to get your feet cut off. Always a question with Ottomans. Yes, mysterious place. I have no idea how they got into the closed system of the aquarium, but there are no more fish here. Yes, no more fish. More vicious little space hamsters. So carnivorous, so deadly. What's especially impressive is that they managed to eat all the fish before they drowned. That indicates a ravenous speed. They're like little furry piranhas. What have the genetic engineers been doing? Yes, a nice trash can that will require no paint whatsoever. Much more efficient. Hmm low lighting, the 
cramped corridors, the fact that I'm completely lost and don't notice the ceiling duct leading upwards from here right away. And we'll probably spend quite a while looking for it. Yes. Unfortunately, I was a bit of a derp searching this area. One never does think to look up. Especially with a ladder right in front of your face. Quite embarrassing. Well, without my live commentary at the time, I don't think you need to see me getting lost. Ah, here we are. This is the point where my past self realized that, yes, three dimensions of space exist. I know. Shocking, isn't it? Ah, little habitation loft with a large habitation module plan, which we must be using right now. I honestly don't think I'll ever need anything but a small like habitation shelter, module. But it has had no I'm fine with just a little bunk bed. It's okay. The rest of the base is where we do our living, really. It's, it's really the service module that you need the large model of, I think, if anything, because of all the functional space. But goodness, they certainly made use of this place, didn't they? Look at all this junk. Beautiful architecture, really. And I got shocked by the fact that gravity existed. Yes. The cause of death was a blunt injury to the head about 30 years ago. The body mummified due to the sterility of the environment. Made it a whole 18 days before space madness set in. Tragic. Really, I guess some people just aren't cut out for the job. But yes, I decided that since I'm not going to be associating myself with this area, it's fine if I just exhaust all the padding. They aren't going to be using it in here, certainly. What and who knows if I... The Edge Agency spacesuit without any artificial intelligence? No AI on it. Well, no wonder they went insane. They didn't have you to talk to soon. Yes. But certainly these fellows aren't going to be using it, and who knows if I'm going to need any more fabric in my diet. Yes, quite an interesting area, certainly full of all sorts of little goodies. By the way, I can't actually hear the game audio while I'm recording commentary. Shotcut just doesn't seem... Interesting. It's worth taking a closer look. Just doesn't seem to cooperate on that regard, but yes, RTFM, newbie. Ah... Breath Edge, Experimental Innovative Technologies of the Breath Edge Global Funeral Agency for 2043, roughly 30 years ago. And yes, unfortunately, that looks like it's the same text. Okay. Device for Eliminating Facial Nerve Ending Irritation. Leading engineers at the Breath Edge Global Funeral Agency have long been researching for a solution to one of the most important problems for mankind. What if a visitor to a space funeral starts experimenting intolerable itching of the face at the most important moment of the ceremony? The answer was not as simple as it may seem at first glance, but with the joint efforts of our specialist, it was finally found. Parts 1, 2, 3. Part 1. Revolutionary High-Tech Synthetic Fluff Brush Part 2 Innovative Telescopic Holder Part 3 mm, uh, Rotary Brush Rotating Mechanism Yes, and I think that this is me just going back and forth looking at what each individual part was. The device is equipped with a revolutionary high-tech synthetic fluff brush. The fluff is shaved from the navels of synthetic squirrels and is 99.9% .9 identical to natural fur. The innovative telescopic holder lets the brush move across the entire face and rotate 360 degrees. Yes, these spacesuits have a fluffer installed. Really in incredible. Yes, and, and I, I guess I read a bit slower. Hmm. ISR-1 Protection Increase, RADR-53 Chip. To activate the Advanced Protection Protocol, follow the instructions below. 1. Press the Escape key to exit the menu. 2. Left-click on Settings. 3. Left-click on Game. 4. Find Lower Radiation. And click on it to allow to change... Uh, change it from disable to enable and apply the selected settings. Oh boy.
This game's wonderful relationship with the fourth wall. It's so abusive. Yes, I, th I think this is me just farting around trying to figure... Yes, here we are. Into the settings. Into game. And yes, there it is. Lower radiation. We actually had to go into the game menu and apply it. At, and, and yes, that is in fact a plot objective we just accomplished. Changing the game settings. Oh dear, I talked over the suit there, didn't I? Oh well. Yes, trying to get my shadow in the correct area. There we go. Spacesuit Emergency Repair Guide. In case the outer layer of your spacesuit gets damaged, do the following. 1. Open the special emergency repair valve. 2. Take out the EP331 kit. 3. Apply a square piece of repair fabric to the damaged area. 4. Fasten the fabric with a super strong titanium alloy thread by using a special tool. The special repair tool gets magnetized to the spacesuit gloves in the area of the fingertips for a more accurate repair procedure. After the emergency situation is solved, it is recommended to ask the Breath Edge Global Funeral Agency for a new spacesuit. Yes. I, I imagine the fabric is just duct tape. But it's nice to know we have magnetized needles available to us. That's lovely. Okay, now... Now, nah, here we are. Emergency help when waking up in the coffin. If you wake up and find that you were mistakenly declared deceased and placed in a coffin of the Breath Edge Global Funeral Agency while you were in a deep sleep, do not panic. Restore your breathing, calm down, and find the trigger specially designed for such cases on the coffin lid at the level of your chest. When you pull it, you'll immediately cease to be bothered by the current situation, and all conditions of the contract with the, condi with the agency will remain fulfilled. Uh, an elegant solution, really. It's nice to know that we don't have to worry about it. Part 1, coffin lid. Part 2, trigger. Part 3, chest level. <laughs> and yes, unfortunately, that was about all that we had to find within this habitation zone. This was a really, really brief trip. We didn't even have to There's unlock no this place through any... Catalogs. Yes. We we didn't really have to unlock anything. We just have a bunch of free, a bunch of free sort of uh, ah yes, <laughs> a unique photo of the two founders of the Breath Edge Global Funeral Agency. The newspapers mostly mention only the head of the agency. However, what always lay at the core of Breath Edge was his crazy ideas combined with the fundamental works of the project engineer, who embodied space funerals into a technically complex reality. Can you really think of any better minds to come up with a business like this? I certainly can't. This we need to get Elon Musk a chicken suit. Agency, the founder of the agency and the leading designer together at a conference in 2017. A useless item. You could make a similar one. All the way back in 2017. Wow. Place has been around for a long time. But yes, unfortunately, I don't think there was anything more. This was essentially some free blueprints, a free little bit of radiation shielding. Huh. Yeah, small cabinet. I was pondering if I could use that for something, and it turns out that no. That is not, in fact, a storage container. That is just essentially a fancy ottoman. So, yes. I'm probably going to be skipping some bits that I wouldn't if I had my live commentary, but this is a little bit awkward. So, let's just head on to the next little bit of plot advancement that I gunned for, because this was a really short trip, and I thought that would be an unsatisfying episode just to do this one quick area. So, next we will be journeying into the new ice hole. We can assume that this station was some experiment of the Breath Edge Funeral Agency, but the lack of any information about it, as well as the dead crew member, can lead us to think that this was probably illegal. On behalf of the Funeral Agency, I apologize for your possible complicity in the illegal activities of our company. On my way to the new ice hole, I encountered this little bit of scrap that I noticed I didn't think I'd investigated before. And it turns out that I was quite right. Yes. Someone has done a tremendous job on comparing two identical objects. Was the flight of the world's largest liner that boring? Well, space flight gives you lots of free time, but... Eh, yes, two different types of lamps. 
Oh, what's the pros and cons? Which one will I choose? They're both so incredible. The cone floor lamp versus the cylinder cone lamp. Well, the cone floor lamp is feminine. If you glue the lampshade and turn it upside down, you'll get a... Oh, you'll get a bowl. Simple design, easy to carry. Its negatives are the stand is too thin, unpleasant yellow light. That's really not a problem with the lamp itself. That's more mm, positive. Round magnet base, uh, semi-transparent. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Versus... Okay, the cone floor lamp has fewer letters, can be placed anywhere, buzzes softly, smells of burnt wire. Cylinder has more letters, it's held together with spit and bailing wire, it magnetizes to the floor tightly, and it shines brightly. Hmm, nice, nice little top hat man. It's, yes, the cylinder floor lamp is masculine. If you glue the lampshade and turn it upside down, you'll get a saucepan. Simple design, easy to carry. Negative, the lampshade is too transparent. Unstable, round magnet base. And unpleasant yellow light, delicate thin stand. Mm. Well, personally, I think I'm biased towards the cylinder lamp. It's just so incredibly solid. Very beautiful, elegant design, I think. And really, we could just take the base off the other lamp and just put it on the cylinder one. They, they really, they were letting their biases control them, I think. They weren't thinking appropriately. But yes, next, this little design has been taunting me for a while, so I figured that while I'm exploring my options and getting into my little forward base here, I would finally get this marker off my map. And yes, we have a little bit of oxygen in the area, but more importantly, we have this... Yes, the water machine. And unfortunately, no, it doesn't just generate water. It's just called that because it's a water carbonation machine. No, I, I was hoping for something where, like, maybe I could put in one piece of ice instead of two to get a water, or maybe even just it would generate water, but unfortunately, no. 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 And here we are, the brand new ice hole, and us not having to deal with its guff. Stuck in this blob of cooling gel. I think we found the perfect specimen to launch into the core. I was hoping to see a standard pleasure shuttle, but this is an old design cargo ship. You can still occasionally find such ships on distant planets. They work on biofuel, and there's no way they were on the liner. And uh, robotics wasn't so popular at the time when such ships were produced. Yes, thank you, suit. Right away, we he find the objective in here. Thank you, suit. Right away, we find the objective. Mm. External control system. Only old ships have these. I can hack it in a split second. Yes, easy as that, right, suit? Easy as that. Unfortunately, it's not going to take a split se second to start up because this thing. A fuel tank with no fuel inside. To start the engines, you have to find some fuel, fill the tank, and hack the control system of the ship. Yes, it runs on beef pellets. Literally, the ship is fueled by bullshit. And the objective was a bit bullshit. Because in order to get 20... In, in, in order to get 10 beef pellets, I need to find 20 synthetic manure. And that required a lot of searching of areas where I have already been. We went to the old manure tank that we found between the hovel and the current base. And we went back to the leafy zone... And we just dug up a whole lot of manure. It was about a half an hour of searching. And honestly, if I said anything of consequence in the meantime, I don't remember. So, yeah. I think we're just going to have a bit of a short episode and I'm going to skip straight to the money shot. And here we are. So elegant. So stately. So screwed up. Oh dear. What are you doing, suit? I think you're almost there. You can probably ignore the cooling gel's slight course deviation and assume that the core's activity is partially reduced. Yes, just just assume. There, there ain't all sorts of sayings about what that does to you and me and all that. Well, I know this was a short episode, but... 
honestly, the half an hour of footage that I skipped was mostly just me derping around, and without my original commentary in the moment, remembering everything I was saying, there was nothing of consequence in it. It was just a bunch of going over all the old areas that I've already explored, piling through literal bullshit to find all the beef pellets that I would need to get that going. So next time, I will be double-checking my mic so that we can have a full episode. In the meantime, I hope you all have a lovely evening. Good night, everybody.